Hi, I'm Shauna with the Franklin Institute and Philly Science on the Web, here to take a look at some of the amazing science that's happening right here in your own backyard. Imagine being able to see the city of Philadelphia as it was in 1776, to visit an underwater museum from the surface, to see what that piece of art you've been eyeing at the gallery might look like on your wall before you buy it. And imagine being able to do all of this with a device that you may already have in your pocket by tapping into the possibilities of an emerging technology called augmented reality. Here's how it works. The way human beings perceive reality on a day-to-day -day basis, three spatial dimensions filled with things like rocks, grass, trees, tigers, hasn't changed much since we first wandered the Earth. And by today's standards, that's a long time to go without an update. And this is exactly what a group of artists and scientists set out to tackle at the 2011 Philadelphia Science Festival's Augmented Reality Program. AR could be described as the ability to seamlessly and dynamically integrate graphic and other multimedia content with live camera views on PCs or mobile computing devices such as your smartphone. What this means is that augmented reality, or AR, utilizes the camera or GPS built into your smartphone or computer to gather information about the world around you. It then uses your device's internet connection to gather additional information about the things in that world around you. And finally, it takes that information and renders it on your screen in 3D space, as if it were physically there in the environment in front of you. So the question is, could there be a heads-up display for our everyday lives? I'm looking, perhaps through my cell phone or glasses, and I see extra information, right? So the vision here is, what if I was in a foreign country, and when someone was talking to me in a language I didn't understand, subtitles appeared in front of them? Welkom in Nederland, mijn gezellige land. Ik hoop dat jullie een fantastische tijd zullen hebben in steden zoals. Or what if I'm in a forest and I can look at a tree and all of a sudden museum style, you know, panels show up with information. And think of the implications. Visiting a site and being able to see past, present and future all at the same time. What if you could look at a building and see it as it, as it was 80 years ago? This is exactly what a group called the Philly History Project is working on right here in Philadelphia. By logging on to phillyhistory.org, tourists and locals can access historic photographs of the city of brotherly love based on a location provided by a smartphone with built-in GPS capability. This is the type of thing that you can do because now you can take these historic photographs of locations and be at the location, go on your phone, pull up an image and see what it looked like a hundred years ago. And that's really powerful. The previous speaker talked about using images. Well, this is now doing 3D models to recreate the past so you can see the building from any view. This video is taking place on site where the building would be, where you see no building is right now. And there's the Jane building brought back to life. We experience place very personally. We want to see how it's changed. We want to imagine how it's going to be in the future. And AR lets us do this. While this new technology sounds amazing, augmented reality is still in its infancy. But as it matures, it could very well spark another social revolution. In the 1990s, we saw the place of public discourse migrate onto the internet. And now with augmented reality uh, technology, that virtual public sphere is, can now be overlaid back into the physical environment. With the new HTML5 standard, there now is integrated into, through JavaScript, integrated augmented reality using video. So if I turn off the augmented reality, you can see there's no actual bouncing ball there. If I turn it back on, it's being overlaid on the images. We can switch it live to some other objects. So all of this is now available um, in browser technology to everybody. In other words, the trajectory of AR technology seems fixed on a path to a world where the lines separating the internet and the physical environment aren't so clear. And believe it or not, it seems a logical step. In the race for ever quicker access to information, a bottleneck exists that we haven't yet fully addressed. Us! Current smartphone technology puts information at your fingertips, and that means that access to information is only as fast as we are. For example, with current technology, if you wanted to know, say, the calorie content of a muffin, we would open a web browser, enter search terms, something like calorie content of a muffin, and then sift through the results. And if you're like most people, you'll probably have ingested all 385 calories before you even get the answer. AR technology reduces and may ultimately remove that human role from that process. 
using the imagery from your camera as a visual browser, and displaying the results immediately on your screen without you having to ask for them, eliminating the lag time between the muffin and the information about its calorie content. You're going to see applications commercially for things like servicing your dishwasher. Your dishwasher breaks, you hold up your iPad, you hold up your phone, and you get a blueprint laid over that you can actually see which parts are there, which parts are missing. That reality, however, is still a few years away. But you can still experience AR technology for yourself right now. In addition to augmented architecture, tech-savvy artists are currently augmenting our planet with virtual art installations, some of them right in our own backyard. I think Philadelphia is really a hotbed of this new a creative and technological movement. In March 2010, I started the Virtual Public Art Project. Eight locations in Philly. This is uh, five separate photos from a uh, physical work right over the Waterworks factory behind the museum. From subsurface sculptures of sea life to abstract installations in parks and public spaces, AR technology brings with it the potential to turn entire cities into virtual art museums, where the price of admission is simply owning a device with access to the internet. So as we wait for augmented reality to become a bigger part of our reality, pull out your smartphones and browse on over to philascienceFestival.org, where you can find more information for events like this one, or come visit us at the Philadelphia Science Festival this April.